Hi everybody. So today I want to talk about a really like big topic, okay? I woke up today and meditated with my guides and said, what, do I, what am I going to do today? All right, what am I going to do? And they said that I need to get a message out, so here it is. One, the biggest message that I keep getting from them over and over and over, so I'm going to keep telling it to you guys over and over and over, is that we all as a whole, as a race, a human race, have lost our soul connection. We have lost that connection to ourselves. We have let so many outside influences, you know, internet, TV, um, you know, everything else get in the way of be, being that one and feeling balanced within yourself. How many of you do not feel balanced in this moment? How many of you feel like you have ADHD or have the diagnosis of ADHD? Why do you think so many people the diagnosis of ADHD has quadrupled, if not more? I don't have exact numbers, so don't come for me. But it has, it has at least quadrupled over the past decade. Why do you think that is? Because we've lost that connection to self and we seek out the answers from other things and we numb ourselves with watching TV and doing things other than coming back to self. Am I trying to put myself as a psychic medium out of business? Not really. I, I know that not everybody can connect or will take the time to learn how to do it everybody can do it that's the thing okay so that's the first message all right is that you need to start going uh, those people that say you can't meditate <laughs> why do you think you can't meditate because you don't meditate you haven't trained your body to slow down and you give up before you get to a point where your body gets used to it so a habit is formed in doing something 21 days consecutively. Do it for a whole month. Give yourself a whole month of doing the first week doing five minutes, the next week doing 10, then 15, and then maybe 30 at the fourth week, okay? And then come tell me how much more difficult is it to meditate. You will become very good at it. Who here thought that they couldn't meditate? Me, in the beginning. I'm a fucking master at that shit now, okay? But it took me doing it consecutively over and over and over. What has meditation done for me? It has gotten me to have a relationship with my spirit guides like they are my besties. As close as possible that you could even fathom being close to them that's how it is meaning I trust everything that comes in every gut feeling I get every vision I get I trust it 100% that's why I don't say an ego but I can be very accurate with my readings because of that and so can you you can be just as accurate with finding out the truth if you trust those gut feelings how many times have you had the gut feeling that a partner is cheating on you or somebody's lying to you come to find out you didn't listen you rationalized it you're just being crazy you're being judgmental ha, da, 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 whatever whatever mind chatter you got going on up in here come to find out they were cheating on you they were lying to you they stole from you just like you thought just like you felt so go within, start trusting yourself more, okay? The second message, the big message is, if you have had a lot of shit happen to you in your life, and, you're, and you have ever said, why has God, universe, whatever your higher power you call it, okay? But I'm gonna reference it as for God, because that's mine. Um, it's not in the Christian construct, but okay, let me just, caveat that but anyway why has God 
forsaken me? Why is God putting me through all of this? Why am I going through all this suffering? And you're continually going, especially new in the spiritual game, you're like, it's all a lesson. It's all a lesson. Fuck that. No, it isn't. <laughs> but do I have answers for you? One, you know, the concept that God is a vengeful God is just so mind-blowing that people can, like, believe that. Like... He did all these beautiful things, and he's vengeful? No. Fear was put in to control the masses. How do you think they gained control back then? Oh, that's a sin, that's a sin. I mean, yes, there are things you shouldn't do because energetically, it's going to come back on you, okay? And you're going to... So, why did bad things happen, okay? We all have a purpose and a path coming down to earth and whether we fall in line with it all the time how many times do you know that you've stepped off of your path as an adult now or even as a teenager watching this thinking I want to do this I want to get good grades I want to like do good at this job but then like stuff gets in the way and that's just not how it is right how many times have you felt like the universe and God was doing this to you? That's not what it is. It is broken people. We are in the biggest karmic chain, okay? And I, I told my guides, please tell me what I need to say. And I've never thought this before. So this is coming directly from them right now. We, we're all in the biggest karmic pattern that connects us all. When I tell everybody we are all connected, it doesn't matter what race, what what you think, uh, how, you're, how you live or whatever, we are all one. We are all connected. We are all from first energy, from source, and pieces of that, and pieces of that. But we all are one, right? <sighs> But it is takes somebody else to get off their path and, and, and make wrong decisions that ripples to the next person and to the next. And it goes down generations. Uh, alcoholism, um, abuse, trauma. How many people have it running in their family? We all do everything in patterns. Everything is a pattern because everything is connected. So when it's connected, you can form a pattern. So why do we have serial killers? <laughs> Who? I am a serial killer fanatic. I know just about, I know obscure ones. I know big named ones. I know odd information about them, everything. I'm fascinated with it. But why, why do we have them? Well, if you too know anything about them, you know that they had horrible upbringings. Um, the abuse that we suffer from people that turn from a light to a dark, and that pattern just kept going, it can get worse and worse and worse. And you either, when you have trauma or pain happen at a very young age, two thing, one of two things happens. You either become so imp empath empathetic and are an empath and can feel emotions on such a deep level that it's hard to handle and get labeled HSP, empath, all of that, or you become the narcissist, the evil person that turns all of their pain into hate and rage. This person is turning it to love and burying it for another day. This person is riding the wave of that anger throughout their life creating havoc so it we all have a duality a light and dark and are connected through it all does that make sense so it is not some higher being doing that but it is all energy so karma can ripple through families karma karmic energy energy can ripple through families deep wounded energy can ripple through, create cords, and hang on from generation to generation until somebody, usually the black sheep in the family, seeks to cut it out and change it all and not do everything that everybody else does in the family.
you know what I mean? And that's how the karmic cycles break. The person that that falls on their shoulders has a very hard life, deals with rejection and pain and all of that for a long time until they finally say enough, I'm worth more, I'm not a doormat for pain and abuse, and I'm going to do something about it. No mas, no more. And until that happens, that's when their life from peace and joy can happen. And all of that pain type of stuff stops. I lived it. I grew up being abused from being in my mother's womb, from him, my father beating her, throwing her out of moving cars, pregnant with me, taking her downstairs, beating her. While pregnant with me, you know, so I have known trauma, like, lifetimes of it. That's why I'm so good at helping people in my personal healing sessions get over it and work through some of it. So that stuff that you bury, that you forgot, who has, like, memory blocks, you know, in their life. All right, I'm going to stop. Okay, I could talk forever. But the message really is connect with yourself and work on getting rid of everything that doesn't work for you both within you and around you in your environment you are what you eat you are what you think you are what you speak you are what you drink you are the people that you hang around and the energy you allow around you to connect to your energy remember that always love and peace and blessings you want to book a reading or a healing i got you <laughs> all right